Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Daisy and I'm a third year adult nursing student. Um, today, I mentioned in my previous video that I'm doing three night shifts. So today's the first day, today is Tuesday. I'm in Wednesday night and Thursday night and I just thought I'd film the process. I haven't actually done three nights in a row before. It's currently half past five, I've just woken up. So, my auntie's tip, she's also a nurse, was to get up early and then do the stuff that you need to do in the day, like do, run some errands if you need to or do some work, and then go to bed around 12 and try and sleep for as long as you can. So, I got up this morning, my friend was on placement so she's next door, so I heard her leave about half past six, so I got up at seven, then I went on a walk. I was gonna run, but I was like, do you know what? I'm not gonna do that today. Hoping that that would kind of tie me out. I then came back, did some of my uni work because I've gone SAGU and had my breakfast, like a big breakfast at 11. Then watched a film in bed and I've been asleep since about two, I think. Um, it was quite hard because it was still daylight, but once I was asleep, it's fine. So what's that, three hours, quite good amount of sleep. A little fact about me that you might not know is that I don't drink coffee. I've never had been able to have caffeine and my mistake that I made when I did two night shifts was that I had an energy drink before I went. I had a coffee probably at about 11 and then I had a coffee at 3 in the morning that night shift and then I couldn't sleep the rest of the day when I got home and so I was absolutely exhausted the second night because I was just so wide awake so I've just put in jacket potato, I'm gonna have like that dinner before I go. Some people choose to make a full meal and eat that around 12 o'clock on their first break. I'm not really sure, as I've never done um, a night shift on this placement before, so I'm not really sure how they allocate breaks and kind of what goes on, which is why I'm eating like my main meal now and I think I'm gonna bring like some porridge or something to have probably around 12, so that keeps me going. Oh, I forgot to say that my shift starts 7.30 and eight so my shifts don't change my shift times don't change since my day shifts so it's basically just another shift but at night hello guys so i'm just on my first break it is currently half past 12 yeah half past 12 i'm actually feeling okay because i had those three hours sleep before which is very nice because normally be very tired by this point just made some porridge because i'm a bit hungry and i never know what to bring so porridge it is with a banana hopefully that will give me the energy to go through the night so far so good it's six hours in almost and it's absolutely fine lots of patience nice and busy so it keeps you awake i have done a lot of given medications, what else have I done, taken patients up to their ward if they've been transferred from us, given handovers on the phone which is always terrifying but it's fine, it's good to get used to and hopefully it kind of carries on the same because right now it's a good level. I should get a second break a bit later, it's literally 15 minutes just so I can eat and then I get like an hour, I think, later. So as I said, some people sleep. I'm not going to, I bought a book. So I'll just read that. I made it to 4 a.m. Finished my break and now I'm gonna go down and we've got four more hours left and I'm going home. I'm actually surprisingly finding it much better than my last previous night. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I slept previously before, like yesterday in the day. So far, so good. I am home. I'm so tired and also so hungry, it's currently half past eight. I'm going to have a big breakfast, so hopefully I feel full and I can sleep. The night shift was actually really fine. It was a good shift. I wasn't really that tired. I mean, I was probably struggling maybe around four, five, because uh, I was just a bit hungry. 
but apart from that I was fine so hopefully tonight's shift goes just as well and then the third one should be a lot easier because hopefully well if I can sleep today then tonight will go good oh some guys just staring right I'm gonna go and try and sleep hello it is currently 6 p.m in the evening and i am just getting ready i've just woken up got some pasta cooking downstairs so hopefully that will kind of wake up a bit more um and yeah to be honest i don't feel too tired for the second night i'm just about to get my stuff ready as well just putting in my earrings i mean my hair i've just gone for a little low bun today I never know what to do with my hair. Make sure I turn those off. Yeah. That's it. As I said, I've literally got an hour, so I'm just going to eat my dinner. Say hello to my housemates because I need some social interaction before I leave for work. And then hit the road. It's only literally five minutes. I'm going to drive again because as much as I would love to cycle, in the morning I do not want to be getting on a bike don't think that would be very safe so yeah I'm just about to go and eat my dinner and then leave probably about seven same as I did yesterday and then find out where I am working tonight so we get allocations or we get allocated where we are when we arrive so I'm actually not sure where I'm gonna be working on the department tonight just walking into the hospital now it's currently 27 so I've got 10 minutes kind of late um, but hey, I've got to kind of run to the other end of the hospital. So hopefully I'll make it in time. I will. It'll be fine. <laughs> Hello, it's currently two in the morning. I'm just coming on my hour break. Tiredness levels, I would say I'm probably at a like a one or a two. I'm really not that tired. I managed to get a good six hours sleep. Got the rest of the shift to go. Then I finished and they were just bringing out the pastries for the morning. But sadly it was too early to buy but it smelled so good. And then I just got into my car and drove home. The moon is still out. Good morning. So I have finished my second night, um, it went really well, I, because I slept really good yesterday, I found it so much better, it was such a good level of like busyness, it wasn't too busy where I was run off my feet, um, but I wasn't sat down like counting the hours, I find night shifts go so much quicker even though it's still like 13 hours, they go so much quicker than day shifts. I don't know why. Last night I was actually in peds, so paediatric children. Um, my mentor was on that side of the ward rather than adult. So if anyone who doesn't know, I'm doing adult nursing. So I don't normally get a chance to work with children very much. So yeah, tonight or last night, the second night shift um, was with ch children. And it was really nice to be able to just experience that because... sorry a lorry had to go past um yeah it was just really nice to be able to work on the children's side get some more experience with working with them because they have different um observation levels than adults different types of medication so it's good just to get familiar with the children's side of nursing as well as adults now i'm back home and i am going to eat some some toast i think that's what i'm fancying and then i'm gonna jump in bed and hopefully get a good sleep hello ready for day three night three not day i just had such a good sleep i slept from 8 till 4 30 which i feel great like that was such a good sleep i'm really surprised i'm managing to sleep so much in the day um i think it was good because all my housemates were on placement as well so there was no noises going on and my curtains a full blackout so no light comes in which is really nice i am just about to make some dinner i've had a shower tried to do something different with my hair it doesn't really work i mean 
no but um my hair is done had a shower about to have some dinner it's my friend's birthday um at the weekend so we're gonna kind of celebrate it a little bit tonight we've got a cake they're gonna order takeaway but i'm obviously away on placement just celebrate a little bit before i go and then leave them to get a takeaway afterwards <laughs> which is so sad but um we can celebrate another time yeah i'm excited that it's the last night and then tomorrow I'll probably, my plan is to come in, sleep till about 12 and then wake up so I can sleep tomorrow night or tonight. No, tomorrow night. I don't know. I'm very disorientated what even day it is. I think it's Thursday. Yeah, I think it's Thursday today. Don't ask me. But all I know is that I'm ready to do another shift. Hopefully, I'm in a different place again tomorrow so in the department there's lots of rotations and different places you could be so I'm in quite a busy place tonight which is exciting you know when like you haven't eaten for so many hours and you kind of feel a bit sick that's how I sometimes feel on nights when I haven't eaten enough so I've been eating like a proper meal before I go and then eating a little snack there it seems to work so far hello it's currently 4.30 in the morning and I'm just coming on my break so I'm gonna go and grab some food because I'm pretty hungry and there's not too long to go till the end of the shift and so far it's been great um super super busy which I like because you don't realize the time and my placement don't turn the lights off at night so it doesn't feel like it's really dark and you don't feel so tired. Although I'm looking in the camera and my eyes are really bloodshot. So I probably look tired, but I don't feel tired, which is good. We've got some super sick patients. So it's just being busy and just trying to remember everything that I've learned and that they're still learning, which in the day is hard, let alone when your body is normally asleep. So it's just getting used to that, which is a challenge, but you know, third night, I'm kind of getting used to it now. I am home. Oh gosh, the reflection in this glass is not good. I have finished three days, three. Let's try that again. I have finished three nights. And surprisingly, they didn't go as bad as I thought. I was really nervous because I think in my head I was like how am I going to stay awake and be concentrating for that amount of time but you just do you just manage to do it your your body does it and I've been sleeping in the day but now I am pretty tired so I'm going to try and sleep it's currently eight o'clock now was it about no it's about 20 past eight um and then I think I'll probably set my alarm for like 12 just so that I can go to sleep tonight if that makes sense so it's going to be probably not a fun filled day because I'm going to be really tired and I've got a bit of work to do but you know it's okay so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video I don't know how informative it was but I just thought it would be interesting for you guys to see like what time I start my breaks um you know how a shift really works and just see kind of the structure as a student nurse of what to expect for nights as well i think this would have really been useful and helpful for me so i really hope you guys enjoyed watching and i'm so tired that i'm struggling to talk so i will see you soon bye the perfect way to end a night shift is with cake mm.